So carnosine is needed for anti-aging. It's needed, it has very uh, uh, important pieces. Uh, and one uh, is that it, it undoes glycosylation and protect, protects against glycosylation. Glycosylation is when sugar is unnaturally bound to protein or fat. And that glycosylation uh, creates the aging. It also creates free radicals. It creates wrinkles. Not just in your skin, but throughout your whole system. It creates cross linkages of protein. None of that is good for you. It appears that carnosine is key. And we do that a lot in protection against for diabetics, but I recommend it for everyone. Now the truth is, to get adequate carnosine, which is a thousand, about a thousand milligrams a day, you would have to eat three steaks a day. Nobody does that. Not even your heavy meat eaters, that's a rare meat eater that's going to do that. So the truth is everybody's deficient in carnosine. What to do? What to do? Carnosine is fortunately available from bacteria, from uh, PR labs. And if you take an eighth of a teaspoon a day, you're getting your 1,000 milligrams of carnosine. Problem solved. So we live in a day and age. You say, well, that's unnatural. Well, I don't know. It's natural. It wasn't available 100 years ago because we didn't know what to do. We didn't even know it was a problem. But we live in a day and age where we can be totally successful vegans because the bacteria are our friends and they do what we need. They make us our B12. They make us our carnosine. It's a good deal. Bacteria are great allies. Yes. Yeah. Is it with food or it has to be away? No, it's with food because it comes in meat, right? That's you. That's with food. So it's pretty easy. And some people hypothesize, even though vegans live longer, vegan meal, according to a not a vegan magazine. Uh, the research shows that vegans live, uh, men live about 7.24 years, 7.22 years longer, and women vegans live about 3.44 years longer. There's no explanation for why there's a difference, but nevertheless, there seems to be a difference. And that's in spite of not having enough carnosine. So with carnosine, we'd hypothesize that we're going to live longer than that, since that was a missing factor in the diet. So carnosine is an anti-aging uh, thing that's important. Any questions about carnosine? I can't an answer that. Uh, um, there is enough research. I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's enough just to, I mean, but I don't recommend taking more than a, an eighth to a, a quarter teaspoon twice a day. It lasts for about eight hours in the system, so you may want to take an eighth twice a day of a teaspoon. It's a powder. Does it look like a magnet for children? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's less important for children, and I'll put a, a little note about that because now children are uh, suffering a tremendous outbreak of type 2 <laughs> diabetes, and carnosine helps uh, deal with the excess sugar. So now I would recommend it for children only because children are eating a very bad diet, but generally not too yeah. So I give her? A vegan, for the reasons you're talking about, 
we're not worried for kids, but, but because of excess sugar, it's an issue of excess sugar. Okay. And so most kids are eating too much sugar, so generally it's probably a good idea. I'll put it that way. Well, generally it's an ongoing thing. People also know that it improves uh, athletic ability and so forth, but generally for life, but maybe more with age, you want to take more. Uh, the carnosine issue and uh, also other things you mentioned, uh, like spirulina and assimilation, does it come from research or from your long years experience? With your research. Research. Yeah, it's not, carnosine is not something I thought about. I just read the literature and people are talking about carnosine, uh, you know. And then I began researching it, uh, you know, as, as very be, being important for vegans. The simulation of food also that you you wanting that spirulina is ninety percent. Oh, that's all research. That's not that's not intuitive. That's definitely a research thing. I can't give you every you know. I do a lot of reading, as you may have guessed, and I can't remember every single reference where I read it. Yeah, but that's definitely uh, uh, in the in the literature. And it's not in the spirulina uh, advertisements, put it that way. <laughs> Only because they haven't done the research. It'll eventually get there. But it's kind of in the general literature.